First team all Missouri Valley Conference this year. And the shortstop starts by stroking one back up the middle. One pitch and one base hit. Welcome to the postseason. Chopper slow roller for Will Height at second base. A crossbody throw is not in time. Hannah is aboard with the infield single. Back-to-back -back base hits for the Sycamore. Schaefer at second. Hannah is at first. Ball in the dirt. And those situations quickly change as the bases are now full as Ross takes first as Wright was hurt. He takes the 1-0, laces it into left field. That's an RBI base hit. Two runs on the board for Indiana State as Grant McGill comes through with a two-run single in the first. Grant Herter is the fastball right down the middle. Grant McGill does not miss it. Pulled the hands in, in the left field. Two runs come in. Big first inning for Indiana State. Third batter with a three ball count in the top of the first for Indiana State. Chopper, it's gotta be a quick play. The throw from Waddell gets the third out and the inning is over. In his own mind. Uh -oh. That one's given a ride out toward left field. Fuentes with a charge. See ya. His fifth home run of the year, and Indiana State is not messing around in Nashville this weekend. 3-0 the advantage. Fifth for Fuentes, tenth that Herter has given up. A fastball up out over the plate. Fuentes does not miss this one. Puts it up over the 35-foot wall out there in left field. Good extension. Matter only matter was would it get over the wall not the way you draw it up but a win's a win right gets the breaking ball called on the outside corner right there at bats over the course of his Vanderbilt career to 150 more than that this year they were playing him deep and so Beck takes a couple steps over to field that liner from Malloy who has the first hit for Georgia Tech coming to regionals 3-2 out toward left Beck came in, now drifts back. He leaps at the wall. That ball is gone. A wild ride for Aaron Beck in left field. Turns into a two-run home run for Andrew Jenkins. Georgia Tech is down by just a run. It's now 3-2. to two. It looked like Beck was camped underneath this one. But lost it. Was underneath it and then... Went back just off the barrel, got in on Jenkins a little bit. They just kept drifting and drifting. See right there, now it's back to the wall and over the wall. But gets a weak dribbler on the ground to second base, and the inning is over. So Herder gets himself into a little bit of trouble. His defense helps him get out of it. Head coach at Presbyterian, played for Corbin for a couple of years. One hop liner into left for Sean Ross. He's got his first hit of the day. Lead off man aboard for the Sycamores in the fifth. Ground ball under Malloy's glove at third. Ross is in to score. Indiana State doubles its advantage on an RBI single from Grant McGill in a well fought at bat. Third RBI of the game for McGill. Second base hit. How big is that ground ball by, by Rivera now? Gets him to third. Infield plays in. Gets it right past Malloy down at third base. Swing and a miss. Throw down to second. Got him by a mile. And McGill has denied the stolen base. Two gone. Week of April against Notre Dame. So this one a much needed longer outing. Ellison Hanna, one off the wall. And when the wall is that big and the ball is hit that hard, sometimes you end up with just a single. That's what he's got. And Max Wright comes through as he drops that into right center field. Hanna goes first to third. 
Rowdy Brewing, Sycamores up two with two on and nobody out. They get a fastball, but not one to hit. And that's ball four. Only the second walk allowed today in the game, period. 3-1 to McGill, not even close. Ball four. So Georgia Tech thought they were making an upgrade by going to the bullpen, but it comes back to bite. Hannah scores easily. Well, and he's missed the zone on 10 of them. Now 11 as that takes a sky-high bounce behind the plate. And Indiana State scores another 6-2 to two as Wright scampers across. Seen a lot of baseball in my life. I've never seen one go straight up in the air. You don't normally, as a catcher, look, look straight up in the air. You look back towards the backstop, but this one is almost like a pop fly from the hitter. Working behind in the count. And two pitches, two balls, and bases loaded on three walks. Fuentes, a tailor-made grounder, and Georgia Tech is out of the inning. The double play they so desperately sought. All they needed to do was ask Josiah Siegel. And his whip, under one, was the best in Division I baseball this year. A gapper tracked down by Ross. And vying for two bases, Jake DeLeo's got it. Lead-off double for the Georgia Tech left fielder. So that's the second for Indiana State. Turns the lineup over. And Georgia Tech is going to get one of those runs back. Six to three. As Luke Waddell comes up with his first hit in four at-bats. And it's an RBI single. Guerrero had kept him in check. Couldn't wait around right there off Grower. Gets a fastball out over the plate. Puts it in the right. Since then, a base hit. And a run is scored. Strike zone is tightened up. But more ensue. It's 2-2, two -two. his line into second, the trouble keeps brewing as Georgia Tech sends Waddell around to score. It's back to a two-run game, 6-4. to four. On an RBI single from Justin Henry Malloy, his team leading 40th of the year. Almost a great piece of hitting by Malloy. Looks like he could have been looking change up because the fastball out over the plate and doesn't try too much. Puts it in play. Out into right center. Two runs across and it's a two. Well the eighth pitch to Jenkins is the last of that plate appearance. 99 pitches and gave up a leadoff double. Ground ball is through on the right side. That's a base hit. Georgia Tech has tied the game on a two run single from Stephen Reed. It's even at six in Nashville. Stays on the plate, but up. Keeps the hands in. Hits it to right. Two runs in. Four runs in in the inning. Hard ground ball. That's through the right side. Base hit. Georgia Tech has the lead as Jenkins is the seventh run of the day. What a seventh inning rally by the Yellow Jackets. Everybody hits. And they have the lead in game number one of the Nashville Regional. That's been a good inning. For Georgia Tech, just past the diving Rivera. Fifth hit of the inning. A couple of walks and five runs in. Yellow Jackets have the lead. Jake DeLeo, the leadoff double. He came around to score. Puts this into the air. Center field. Ross has it inning over. But Miguel Rivera carries it. Right center field. It's got a long way to go. And Rivera is into second base with a double. 
0-2 to McGill. And that is in the air, right field, long run. Reed has it, his throw to second, they double off Indiana State, a double play to win the game. The comeback complete for the Yellow Jackets, they are into the winner's bracket in Nashville.